Hey, hey, good people. Appalachian Trail Hack today. I'm getting started from the parking lot at uh, the Springer Mountain parking trailhead. And I've done from here to Springer Mountain before with my son. So today I'm gonna head the other direction, heading north, just see how far I can get. Starting a little bit late. It's about uh, uh, six o'clock in the evening and I've got about an hour and 45 minutes of light. And then we'll enjoy some time up the trail and back tomorrow. So what's your perfect backpacking weather? I've got pretty close to mine right here. It is in the low 70s, soon going to be dipping into the upper 60s, and there's a very slight breeze there are some clouds to shield me from the sun, although here on the AT, things are pretty shaded anyway. And it'll be cool sleeping weather. And tomorrow we'll be up here, the highs in the mid 70s, which maybe is a little warmer than my ideal, but it's pretty close. This will be mostly walk in the woods here. Not too much expected in terms of views over the next 24 hours, but uh, I just want to enjoy the walking. And I can see here we've got an intersection with the Benton Mackay Trail on the agenda for some time. We're doing the AT just heading north from Springer Mountain today. So it's not so much about speed or my destination. I don't actually have a particular destination. I'm just gonna see how it goes. If I feel like walking some more after dark, I've got my headlamp fully charged up. I can do some night hiking. And then tomorrow, depending on if I get up early or decide to sleep in, I can go more or fewer miles. I don't plan to go any further than on Just Us Mountain, which is uh, about 13 miles from where I started. So that would make a 26 mile round trip for this 24 hours, and that's, that's a lot. But I've got a light pack. I'm only carrying, uh, I was carrying 12.3 pounds, fully loaded with 20 ounces of water and my food and fuel. So I've already drunk most of those 20 ounces. And since there are many water sources on the AT, I expect that I will be able to hike mostly without a lot of water in my pack. I'll try to keep a pace that I enjoy, that I feel good in, and then just be mindful about what I'm doing in the woods. So as I've been walking, I've been trying to focus on a few things. One is my breathing, just noticing the rate that I'm breathing at, breathing in, breathing out. And then I'm also trying to pay attention to each step on the ground. It's surprising, I wouldn't really think about it, but just noticing my connection with the earth with each step makes me feel more a part of the trail. And then finally, I'm trying to listen for sounds of streams. You noticed I just went over one. Sounds of birds, squirrels rustling, other hikers at a shelter, whatever it might be. And that too makes me feel more connected.
Hey again, I just passed Three Forks where there is a um, forest road, it's Forest Road 58. And you can park along that road to access the Appalachian Trail, head to Springer Mountain or the direction I'm heading now, which is north. Now that was 3.2 miles from where I parked to the Three Forks parking area. So I ended up doing that in just a couple minutes over an hour, so it's a pretty good pace. And now I guess it's uh, just a mile to Long Falls, Long Creek Falls. So I'm heading there. Uh, I got a, I got one liter of water filled up at Three Forks. Drink that, so I'm cameled up. And then I will probably load up all my capacity at uh, Long Creek Falls, just because I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go after that. Might get dark, I might not feel like hiking. Or I might go a fair ways and need a bit of water just in case uh, there's not much on that section of trail because I think I'm going to climb from there and there'll be less water as I climb. So I'll probably load up. I got a 1 liter, a 0.7 liter, and then a 20 ounce uh, on me. So that way if I camp away from water, which is my plan, I'll have plenty to cook, clean up, and drink between now and tomorrow morning, between whenever I stop, rather, and tomorrow morning. All right, here I am at the falls. I thought the trail was gonna cross this river, but that's the Benton Mackay Trail and not the AT, so I wasted a couple minutes figuring that out. water you gotta love it you can see it's getting dark i'm up for a little night hiking so i'm gonna give that a shot climb up from this falls camp where it's a lot less humid uh, not so much by the river the fewer bugs and it'll be nice and quiet all right give you a little view of night hiking I'm walking a little slower because I got both trekking poles in one hand right now, so I can give you this view. But I've got the headlamp that I use on its red setting, which is good for highlighting the roots and crags and rocks in front of me. And the uh, headlamp is actually secured into my hip belt right now and slightly angled towards the trail. So that I can see where I'm going. You can see it's dark here. I'm at a campsite along the trail, maybe a half mile, three quarters of a mile past the falls that you last saw me at. So I got this great log to sit on and eat, spread out my stuff for dinner. And then I'll walk a little further and camp away from where I cooked. Okay, I got my water boiling, just finished, Turn, just turned it off. And I'm going to add my two cups of water in here. Okay, I put my meal inside the pot cozy here. Just to keep it as hot as possible. Minimize the amount of time it needs to sit. It's supposed to sit 10 to 12 minutes. Meanwhile, I will eat a few more of these peanuts. Drink a little bit of water. All right, everybody. Good night. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. It's a little bit after 7.30 and the sunrise was at 7.22. I'm ready to take down the tent. I got everything out, mostly packed up. Put my water bottles in the bag yet. And I'm gonna throw the tent in the pack and start walking. Goal today is to probably get to um, Justice Mountain. Um, I am near Hawkeye Mountain at the campground just before it. So I've got a very short hike to Hawkeye 
and then I'll see how I'm feeling and maybe head to Justice and turn around and come back. Ready to head out. Early rays of the morning sunshine are illuminating the hillside up ahead. This one looks a little bit like an alligator. You know, I love it out here. Even with the big climb that I'm working on. Maybe you can see a bit of it behind me. It'll have its rewards soon enough. All right. I am at a junction with the uh, with Greasy Mountain. Uh, there's Forest Service Road 42, and there's kind of two sides of Greasy Mountain that join with the AT here. I'm on the far end of that, just before um, Justice Mountain. Uh, in order to get to Justice Mountain Peak, it would take longer than I want to to get back uh, home today. So I'm about a mile away from it, maybe a mile and a half, and. Uh, this is a great spot to stop. So here you go. About as much of a view as you get on the Appalachian Trail. I mean, there are views that are wider open than this here and there, but I've been uh, hiking yesterday evening and all this morning, and this is the most view I've had. So it's a pretty special thing when you see it. All right, so it's time for the piece of gear I'm loving today. And that is the Sawyer Squeeze water filter. I really like this water filter because it's got a high rate of flow. Uh, whatever the standard size for a lot of soda bottles is, screws right on. And it's easy to use. All right, I am back at the camping area where I was last night. It took me an hour and a half to get to that second road junction at Greasy Mountain. And on the way back, I did take a 15 minute rest. But other than that, it took exactly an hour and a half to get back as well. So I'm doing the section that I night hiked last night. It looks pretty much the same as most of the AT, just a big green tunnel. <laughs> but I wanted to mention one thing that I didn't get a chance to talk about last night. Somewhere pretty close to camp, and I'm uh, in the zone right now where this happened. I'm walking along, and these, uh, I don't know, it sounded like maybe walnuts or acorns or something, where a couple fall out of a tree. Okay, maybe there's a squirrel, but then... A whole bunch of them started falling. It was like, and, and it even felt like, it seemed like some of them were being almost thrown. Uh, I'm sure they weren't, but uh, maybe it was squirrels. Maybe it was a bear up in a tree. I don't know, but something was throwing, or excuse me, shaking the branches, getting those things to come down on me. I think trying to scare me away. It was a little bit freaky, uh, but kind of unique too. All right, lunchtime. It's a little after one o'clock, about 110. Got myself a couple granola bars. Got myself a Think Thin protein bar, caramel. And some peanuts. So basically snacks for lunch today. I was thinking about maybe making oatmeal and hot chocolate, but I don't feel like getting the stove out and, and doing that, so I'm just eating the snacks. I'm almost done with this trip. Should be a little bit less than an hour to the car. All right, Springer Mountain parking lot to Greasy Mountain, second intersection, done. 